I am Anil Kumar and we will discuss a business application on optimization in this video. A retailer selling washing machines has found that every $1.20 reduction in price on the washing machine, two more machines are sold per month. The retailer normally sells 50 machines per month for the price of $1.900. Determine the optimum selling price in order to maximize revenue. Well, as you know, revenue R, let us say revenue R, is equals to number of machines sold and their price. So it is equals to number of machines X times unit price, right? Uh, price of each, price P of each, right? So, so that is how we can define our variable. Now what we know here is that when the price is $900, then 50 machines are sold. And if the price is reduced by $20, then two more will be sold. So from there, we can get a linear equation. Since for every drop of $20, two more machines are being sold. So basically, we do have a linear relation between the number of items sold and the price correct so we can say that if the price is nine hundred dollars then the items sold are fifty so let us say for fifty items uh, price is nine hundred dollars right so nine hundred dollars we're trying to develop a relation so if we decrease this price by twenty dollars then it becomes eight hundred and eighty dollars right so for $880, two more machines will be sold. So there will be 52 machines will be sold. Let me write them as 52 items. Right? So that is how number of items and price is related. And since it is linear, we can find uh, an equation relating them. So let's find first the slope M as what is the relation between the change in the price resulting into items sold, right? So we do 900, that is y2 minus y1, 880, 900 minus 880 divided by 50 minus 52, right? Now, 900 and this is a price reduction of $20 and here there is increase by two, so that is minus two. That gives us slope of minus 10. So for every a reduction of twenty dollars two more that means uh, for every ten there is there is one more correct so that is that is what this reduction is from here you can get the equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b you can say p the price is equals to m is minus ten x uh, let's write x plus b first and then we will equate We'll find B using one of the terms. So we can use 950. So 900 is the price. In that case, minus 10. X number of items is 50. We can get the value of B, right? So, so we get 900 plus 50 times 10 is 500. That is the value of B. And this is equals to 1400 for us, right? So B is 1400. So that gives us the relation between the price function and the number of items sold, right? So we can write down now our equation as price function P is equal to minus 10x minus 10x plus the value of B, which is 1400. So that is the price function. Sometimes we also call it demand function, right? So these are few terms which you can use. P you can say as a, a price function or demand function. Okay. Now what is revenue? Revenue as you know is number of items sold into price function. So we say revenue will be in terms of X. Number of items sold can be X times the price function which is minus 10X plus 1400 right so that we could write as minus 10x square plus 1400x 
Now what do we need to know? Determine the optimum selling price in order to maximize revenue. To maximize revenue, we can find its derivative equated to zero. So we'll find derivative which is minus 20x plus 1400, right? So the critical point here will be uh, equating this to zero. We get our critical point. So we get 20x equals to 1400 or x is equals to 1400 divided by 20, right? So that gives us this cancels out. That gives us x is 70. So 70 items are sold to give the maximum revenue. Now, what is the optimum selling price we want to know? We want to know price. So we will substitute this value of x in the price function. So we'll say price is equals to minus 10. We'll substitute 7 here, 70 here, right? So that is the price function, right? So we are going to substitute 70 number of items here and find out the price. So 70 plus 1400, right? So that gives us a price of 1400 minus 700, which is 700. So $700 becomes the optimum selling price. Now, whenever you do this, you have to also confirm that this indeed is the maximum revenue and not the least revenue, right? So that you can actually test. So what we will do here is we'll analyze the revenue function. So we say, well, let us check the rate of change for the revenue. At 70, we know it is zero. So if I take a value, this is the revenue function, R of X, right? So, so if I take a value which is less than 70, right? So let us take a value which is less than 70. Let it be 60, for example. In that case, uh, what do we get? And if I take a value which is more than 70, let us say 80 in our equation, then, then what do we get? So in this revenue function, if you substitute 60, what do you get? 60 into 2 is 1200, so you get a positive value, right? So you get a positive value here. And if you substitute 80 here, you get a negative value. That is to say that the rate of revenue is increasing and then it is decreasing and therefore we have maximum here right some of you who have also done the second derivative test can find the second derivative so if you find the second derivative of x you get minus 20 since that is negative we know revenue is maximum right so that is another way of doing it and this is what most of my students have learned so far so you can test the revenue itself whether the rate is increasing or decreasing on or near the critical number which is 70 in our case right so that is how we get the price and therefore we can now write down our answer that is price p is per item is dollar 700 right so that is how we can find the selling price for maximum revenue right 700 dollars for maximum revenue i hope this Video helps you to understand how price or demand function, number of items and revenue are related and how we can maximize revenue. Thank you and all the best.